Hello folks, welcome to today's step-by-step -step tutorial on how to deploy Manage Identity for Unity Catalog. We will be creating an access connector for Azure Databricks that utilizes a user-assigned Manage Identity. The access connector for Azure Databricks is a first-party Azure resource that enables you to connect Manage Identities to an Azure Databricks account. So let's dive in. Look into your Azure portal. I'm already logged in. If you don't already have a user-assigned Manage Identity, create a new one. And we will be creating a new one in this tutorial. So let's create a resource. Search for user assign manage identity. Hit create. Select a new resource group. You can use an existing one. Select a region and then give it a name. And hit next. You can use tags if you want, then hit review plus create, then click create. So once your user assigned manage identity is deployed, we will create access connector. Click on it, create a new resource, search for template deployment. So select the first option. Click on create, click on build your own template in the editor. I will copy paste a template from Microsoft documentation and I will share the link in the description section. Once you have copy pasted, click on save. You will get a couple of options now. So I will select a resource group. Name of this character, I will give it a connector to. And then I will give the user assigned manage identity ID. So you can get that ID. Just I will just duplicate this tab. Then I will go to the resource groups. Look for the resource group where I deployed my user assigned manage identity. Click on the manage identity. Go to the properties and copy this ID. Go back to the custom deployment paste this ID and hit next. The template is validated, hit create. So now this particular access connector will be utilizing a user assigned managed identity to give permission to the resources. You will not give this particular access connector permission on a storage account. You will be giving permission to the user assigned managed identity. So then click on go to resource. And now let's verify. If you will click on identity, you will see that system assigned identity is status is off. But if you will click on export template, here we can validate that it is using an identity type of user sign, and this is the ID. Thank you for joining me in this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, Remember to show your support by liking and subscribing for more Azure Databricks related content. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Looking forward to connecting with you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.